Hello everybody and welcome to a Camp Cretaceous Theory video today and we're going to be discussing two things. For one, we're going to be discussing the junior novelization for season three of Camp Cretaceous that was just um, shown off and also we're going to discuss, more importantly, a theory about the Scorpius Rex, which is the new hybrid that will be appearing in season three. Now first we're going to quickly talk about the junior novelization and see what we can break down from the cover that was shown. Now it shows four images. Of course with the top it's showing like the main dinosaur or something. And interestingly it's showing Blue the Velociraptor instead of the Scorpius Rex. Or for most of you it's just E750. Which is strange but maybe that's just saying that Blue's going to have... E a bigger role than she has in previous seasons. But the biggest reveal it has is that it shows the Dimorphodon, which we have not seen those small ter pterosaurs since Jurassic World back in 2015, which many people were wondering why they weren't in Fallen Kingdom and stuff, but maybe because of them finally making an appearance in Camp Cretaceous, Maybe we'll get an answer to that. Maybe they left the island and something or went somewhere else, or maybe they died out. Who knows? We're gonna, we may find out, but they are going to be in season three. Another thing that's shown is um, Brooklyn and Yasmina are using a glider and are flying away from pteranodons, which that's gonna be really interesting to see. I wonder what it's gonna be about don't know what the reason for it is. We'll find out in May. And the last image isn't really much. It's just um, showing Darius and Ben together. But other than that, that's all we get for this, so we're not going to go into it much. But now we're going to talk about the thing that you're all waiting for, and it is why did Dr. Wu collect the Scorpius Rex when he left Jurassic World back in 2015? Now I have a few theories and I'm going to go over the three most likely. And if we know that um, he wanted to collect it possibly, because um, if you recall back in at the end of Jurassic World before he leaves, he makes sure that the scientists have the backup generators online which I'll go more into that in a second. But the first theory that why he may not have gone back for it is he couldn't get there in time. Now, as I j just mentioned, um, he did ask for the backup generators to be online, even when the park was shut down. And we know from Camp Cretaceous that they were still on because the Scorpius Rex was still frozen in its tube. However, in that scene, Dr. Wu um, contacts Vic Hoskins and says that the um, embryos that are powered by the backup generators can last up to eight weeks on them. Which, if we look into Fallen Kingdom and when the opening scene in which the mercenaries go to collect the Indominus Rex DNA, we know that takes place somewhere in 2017. At least I believe it is. That means that he wasn't going to be able to get there in time. And it doesn't mean that it would have been dead. He just knew that it would have probably escaped by then. And was either in the jungle still somewhere. Or was already dead. And he didn't have any chance of finding it. That's the most likely reason. And it definitely makes sense of why we don't see it, any mention of it at all. Sure, it might not be the best reason for some people, but it's the most logical, because there was no way for him to get to the island in time, because we know that after Jurassic World fell, Dr. Wu was um, in a little bit of trouble be with um, the law and stuff, and was also stripped of his credentials, which is why, if you didn't know, Henry Wu was classified as Mr. Henry Wu during the auction scene instead of Doctor because he's no longer classified as one. So obviously he wasn't going to be able to get there in time. Now, if you don't agree with that and think, well, maybe he still could have gotten it, 
he, if he spent more time on the island, well, here's the second theory. He didn't require it after he started working on the Indoraptor. Now we know as soon as um, Henry Wu got to working with Eli Mills at the Lockwood Estate, he would immediately start working on his newest hybrid project, the Indoraptor, which we know that he required um, Indominus Rex DNA for, but many people are thinking that why wouldn't he also go with it for the Scorpius Rex? After all, it's perfect. To, according to Wu, it would be still perfectly preserved and stuff. Well, here's the thing. He may have not required it. Perhaps, he, as we know, we, the Interruptor was made with the base genomes of Velociraptor and Indominus Rex. And um, if you look into my video on which I say everything the Interruptor is made of that we currently know, I'll provide a link to that in this description of this video. You'll know that he does not require the Scorpius Rex. Now, for some people who are thinking that it, um, the Scorpius Rex was made before the Indominus Rex, then he definitely wouldn't need it because it would have no DNA of the Indominus Rex in it. So, realistically, when he went to the island, there he would be like, I don't need this, there's no point in wasting my time looking for it. I've got what I need now. Now, those are the two biggest theories, and for me, I'm lead leaning more to the first one, but my third and final theory that I really have, which may not make the most sense, but I think, considering what has happened in um, the Jurassic World Aftermath VR game, which is considered canon, we know that Eli Mills had more control over Wu than we would have thought. And my third theory is that Mills didn't allow him to retrieve it, and only allowed him to get the Indominus Rex DNA. I think that this kind of would make sense, because Eli Mills only cares about getting the, making the perfect Interruptor. He doesn't care about Wu having another side project, he just wants him fully focused on that. So when Eli and Wu sent the mercenaries to go and collect the Indominus DNA, he probably made sure that they don't go searching for anything else because he wants Wu to focus primarily on his um, Indoraptor project. And that makes sense. So like if, say, the um, Scorpius Rex was still in its um, cage the whole time and stuff, let's just say if it was, if it never was accidentally freed by the kids or something, let's just say it stayed in there, then Wu wouldn't, wouldn't be allowed to go and get it. But other than that, guys, those are my biggest ideas of why he doesn't. So recap, first idea is because he couldn't get there in time due to the whole gap between the in ending of Jurassic World where he escapes and, um, the beginning of Fallen Kingdom. Second the theory, of course, is he didn't require it for his Indoraptor project, which I think for most people, they're gonna settle with that one. And then there's the third for the bonus theory that Mills didn't allow him to retrieve it because it wasn't necessary to Mills. But anyway, guys, what do you think about these theories? Which one do you think is the best answer to why and we would never went back for the Scorpius Rex. Whichever one you agree with mostly, why is it? I'd love to hear in the comments below. And if you have another theory on why he wouldn't go back for it, let me know in the comments. But guys, other than that, that is gonna wrap it up. We're gonna, we'll find out more answers on the Scorpius Rex when season three comes out. But if you've enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate the like, and if you want to join the hunt and see more stuff like this, hit the subscribe button, be safe, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye